And is the occupation over? The mayor says yes, but the residents of East Washington's 700 block appear ready for a stalemate. The possible eviction of the Occupy protests in Madison putting a spotlight on the homeless problem, growing poverty and lack of resources. Good evening, I'm Eric Franke. And I'm Sarah Carlson. Thanks so much for joining us. Mayor Paul Soglin says the group living at that old Don Miller site must be out by April 30th. That's located at the corner of East Washington Avenue and Livingston Street, just a few blocks away from the Capitol. And the night team's David Douglas will be live there with our story a little bit later on in that. But first, newscast. here's David's story. This is the old gray mare. This is my home for now. It's not much, but for a man we know only as Lyle, right now it's the best he can do. Hey, I used to have a house, two cars, a wife, the whole nine yards, and it didn't work out. He has a job working as a flooring installer, saving up money till he can find a roof without wheels. His story is what Occupy Madison has become. A tent city that today found a new person to protest. It is highly irresponsible for anyone to suggest that the city's response to homelessness and poverty is anything less than stellar. In a news conference, Mayor Paul Soglin spoke of the millions the city spends each year to help the homeless and low income, while saying it was time to break camp on the Don Miller site. We have to make some very tough decisions. We can't do everything and we cannot be everything to everyone. The property in the 700 block of East Wash is slated for development this year. When occupiers began living on it, they agreed to be out April 30th. And sometimes it's not so pretty, but actually it's a community. We are a community that's being evicted on April 22nd. That's the day vehicles, many of which are broken down and don't run, must be off the site, which means Lyle will have to move on. If only he knew where he was going next. Believe it, it's not a cure for homelessness, but uh, it's a stopgap. I'm just thankful. You know, you'll be surprised what you get thankful for.